This is Josh Warner again, and uh, I'm back to talk some more about Turner Acrylic Wash. This is part two of a four-part review, and this one we are going to talk about the metallic line. I tried out some of the metallics that I got from jerryzardorama.com uh, while creating this Frankenstein piece for Caliber Comics. So let's take a look. So as you can see here, um, getting uh, this is using very little water. It's pretty much um, just a tiny touch to get it moving, as you can see. But the metallics are quite opaque on the first pass. Um, that's not using a whole lot of paint. And these are very fluid, much more fluid than regular acrylics. There's not a lot of color shift here either. When these metallic colors dry, they look exactly how they do wet for the most part. Um, they don't get darker on you or anything like that. You can get great coverage while using very little paint. Uh, the pigment is extremely strong. And as you can see, they're extremely metallic. Uh, I didn't use a whole lot here because uh, the palette didn't require much for this particular piece. So I experimented with three uh, different Turner Acryl Gouache Metallic Paints that I got from jerrysartorama.com. Copper, Gold Deep, and Antique Bronze. These are the little 20 milliliter tubes. Um, it's the smallest size, but like I said, a little goes a long way. Um, you'll get quite a lot of life out of these small tubes. But of course, the best value you're going to find is by, big and, by buying the bigger ones. And they have a lot of colors. So look, there's 219 colors that you can choose from, uh, from the Turner Acryl Gouache line. So as you can see here, I used them and some of the metal parts on the piece. Here's a shot of me doing it uh, on the spot. And uh, I loved them. They're, they're fantastic. They really add something to the original piece. Now, obviously, these won't reproduce in scans. You won't see that metallic being printed on the cover of the book. But the original piece of art um, is so much fun to look at, too. So whoever the owner of the uh, original art ends up being, will have this extra little feature. Next up, we're going to take a look at the pearl interference colors. So please stick around for the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it.